I'm Jessica Goddard, and this is your Friday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts us off with weather. Well, overall, weather looks pretty good for us over the weekend. We are going to push a dry cold front through overnight tonight and into tomorrow. That'll kick up our winds a little bit tomorrow morning to breezy with cooler conditions, especially across the Northeast. But overall, a very nice day across the state and sunshine for Sunday as well. So your weekend on the whole looks very, very good. Into next week, we are going to draw some moisture up from the south. It will favor central and western sections of the state as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. An Albuquerque police officer was fired last week for fatally shooting a burglar suspected suspect rather last year. Brandon Carr claims he repeatedly told Roderick Jones to surrender, but that Jones refused and tried to run. But Jones reached into his pocket, and that's when Carr decided to shoot him. Carr shot him at least one more time in the back, so there are questions about whether he was a threat or if he was running away. Police Chief Ray Schultz would not go into detail about why he found the shooting unjustified, only that Carr violated standard procedures. Carr has appealed his termination. Next, the district attorney's office will present the case to a grand jury to see if they believe the shooting was justified. The Rio Grande High School principal removed from the job Wednesday has been reassigned. Cynthia Schalberg Hale created a huge controversy by scrapping the schedules of all 1,700 students at Rio Grande because many didn't have the classes they needed to graduate. They delayed that delayed their final schedules until earlier this week. APS transferred Schalberg Hale to the Office of Language and Cultural Equity, where she will work as an instructional manager. Join us for more news tonight at 10 o'clock.